but hey y'all, so I am here for my 22 week update with my pregnancy vlogs. Um, as of today, yeah, today, exactly, I'm 22 weeks. And I think it's kind of awesome. I'm past the halfway point. The halfway point was 20 weeks. That was during my birthday. I did do a 20 week update. But there are things going on with my internet and router and such. So, I will try to edit that video and get it up even though it'll probably go up after this one. But still, I want to be able to add it to my collection. Oh my gosh. But anywho, um, I don't, my body isn't really too terribly different. I don't think I'm that big right now. I mean, I know for a fact I'm not because people still look at me and they can't tell that I'm pregnant. Just depending on what I'm wearing, but yeah, my, I mean, my belly's here. You can definitely tell now. I'm not at that awkward stage of it being, oh, is she fat or is she indeed pregnant? Yes. I definitely look pregnant now, like, when it's clear to tell, but for, ooh, but for the most part, no. I'm not that big yet, um. I haven't gained too much weight at my last doctor's appointment I was 122 pounds if I remember correctly and it's still not at I haven't met my pre-pregnancy weight um I lost a lot of weight in the beginning with hyperemesis and so now I reach I'm trying to regain that weight and my pre-pregnancy weight was 127 pounds so I mean, I still have a five pound difference, but who knows? I could have gained some of that between my last doctor's visit, which was last month. Um, and now I'll be able to find out on Tuesday. That's when my next appointment is. So maybe I've gained a little bit more weight, but yeah, as of right now, I'm on a good track. Um, baby kicks. I can definitely, I felt his kicks before, but I can definitely like really feel them now and tell that it's definite baby kicks. There's some days where it's just soft kicks. There's some days where it's really massive kicks. Um, yesterday I was doing my friend's hair and my belly was touching her and I guess he kicked and she felt it. She's like, did he just kick me? I'm like, wait, I don't know. Felt him kick again? Yep, he did. So you're starting to be able to feel it on the outside of my belly now and I can actually see his kicks when he starts to kick. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. And I'll just sit there and watch. I need to sit like a container of my shea butter or something to make him move it. <laughs> but yeah, um, names. So, okay. His dad has a name picked out for him already. And, you know, I should let him have it since it is a boy. And I'll just let him name the boy. And when we have a girl, I get to name her. But I have my own name in mind. And so we're trying to find a halfway meeting point to where we can agree on a name. So that is where I'm at right now with baby names. We're trying to find a middle balance. You know, we gotta compromise. I know he, he keeps calling them one name. But, you know, no. I haven't settled on that yet. So we'll figure it out eventually. Um, I do need to start getting along with my baby shower plan soon and helping out with the baby shower planning figuring all that jazz out um there's so much to do i have started my baby registry at one place but i mean it's not high end but it is kind of expensive so i want to find a more you know middle ground like target or whatever to do another baby registry if people want to buy me things from there because that is definitely more affordable um, than my original place and yeah I mean I definitely want people to be able to buy gifts if they choose to and I don't want to make it outrageous so yeah I gotta work on my baby registry a bit more and add some more things to it you know try to finalize it because we don't have that much longer and time is gonna fly like, before you know it, May is going to be here. And there's no telling that he's going to come on his due date of May the 24th. Like, he may come earlier. Um, and I definitely want to be prepared for if he does just so happen to come earlier. Whew. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. I mean, I guess I'll be really happy because he'll be here. But, Lord, him coming before 
where he's expected to be here is May is just going to be a stressful month for me. I'm going to have May 1st. I'm going to have like bags packed, keeping it in the closet by the door just in case this baby decides to make his debut earlier than planned. Because I need to be prepared. I don't want to be worried about anything. I'm going to have a birthing plan written out, everything I need and want done at the hospital. I went on a birthing center tour and they gave us like a uh, pre-copy, I guess, of how we're going to have to fill out the birth certificate. And I plan to have all that done and proofread by me and my mom and the dad. And yeah. I just want everything ready so I don't have to stress and worry about anything at all. Because I know I'm not going to be able to think straight. And once he's born, I'm not going to want to have to think about getting other things straight too. Like I'm just going to be staring at this kid like, oh my gosh. So yeah, I need to get all that ready. Um, and then I guess I can show you guys my bump. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I'm going to try to stay in the frame somewhat, but, ugh. oh, some in my eyes. But here's baby. I'm going to kneel down on this bench so it's easier. <laughs> Alright. But, this is him as of 22 weeks. Like I said, I haven't gotten too terribly big. But yeah. He's definitely taking up his space. Um, and lucky for me, oh gosh, lucky for me, I can still fit the majority of my clothes. Jeans are another thing. Jeans are always kind of weird fitting on me just because of body shape and height and all that that comes into play but I do have a pair of jeans that I was able to fit and I had to go buy a new pair of jeans for work um and I got some from Walmart and they are this really nice stretchy material and they fit really well they're not uncomfortable so I really like those so yeah I can pretty much still fit into everything that is my original size which I think is very awesome um a lot of people they're like, wow, when are you going to start, like, really showing her? I guess they're trying to figure out when I'm going to get big. Whatever. I don't think I'm going to get that big. Or if I do start to gain the real pregnancy weight, I'm thinking that it's not going to be until my last month. Or, like, towards, I don't know, the middle of month seven. And once I'm getting closer to, you know, eight months, um... Who knows? I, but I really, like, between, just between how I am right now, what I eat, things of that nature, I don't think that I'm going to gain too terribly much, uh, you know, much, that much weight. I don't think I'll be that big, and I'm hoping that I do fit into my own clothes pretty much the entire time. I wear stretchy pants and leggings a lot now just because it's more comfortable than being in jeans, um, which is understandable. But I hope that I don't have to get any clothes that are too big. Thank goodness it has not been an extremely cold winter here. Uh, because I did not want to buy a new jacket. I went to Target to go buy a new coat for winter in case it was cold. So that it could fit around my belly and everything. But it was I would be dropping like 70, 80 bucks on a new coat that would fit me. And it would have been just two sizes, three sizes too big. For after pregnancy, like I wouldn't even still be able to wear it once the baby was born. It would have been ridiculous and looked ridiculous on me. But at the time of buying it, you know, I would have had to get it because it would have fit my belly. I'm kind of glad I didn't get it because it hasn't been that cold here in North Carolina. Um, and even on days where it felt, you know, a little chillier than usual, I just wore layers and I was fine. So, yeah. I'm glad I haven't had to buy any real intense winter clothes that are out of my size that I would end up just chucking away after baby was born. Um, and hopefully it'll be like that through the spring. Even though I'll wear, my style is more like flowy clothes anyway. So thank goodness a lot of things still fit because of my original style. I'm upset, the video cut off while I was recording. But 
Anywho, like I was saying, I'm glad that my original style, thanks to it, I don't have to buy that, you know, I don't need to buy any other clothes. And I'm hoping that it stays that way in the springtime, um, or once it finally starts to get warmer, around when he's due, then I don't have to buy anything else. So, between my clothes being flowy or being like stretchy material like this, I swear, I better not have to go buy maternity anything. Like, even with jeans, I'll be really upset if it's getting towards the end of my pregnancy and I have to go buy maternity jeans. Y'all just don't understand. Ugh. But anywho, yeah. So, I'm really ready for him to come. And I swear... It's starting to feel like torture now, trying to count down the weeks until he is here. Yeah, oh, I did want to mention my birthing plan. So, I would really, really, really like to do a water birth, but the hospital I will be at does not have water birthing tubs. They do have the hypnotherapy tubs that I can labor in and to help, you know, soothe pains, all that. I don't plan on getting the epidural. Um, I want to avoid drugs as much as possible because of my own beliefs and such. Um, but it kind of bugs me that they don't have uh, any bourbon tubs. I mean, I guess it's awesome. Not I guess. It is awesome that they at least have the hypnotherapy tubs that I can labor in and so I guess that's close enough and I mean you never know when it comes time if baby is about to come out and I'm still in that tub laboring then he may just end up being born in the tub whatever but I do know that I don't want to be like stuck on my back in an unnatural birthing position in the hospital bed even though you can create a very nice atmosphere and those you know, labor and burden rooms at the hospital I'm going to, they are awesome. They look wonderful. And from what I hear from like my aunts and others who have had children in the area and surrounding areas, where I'm going to be is they have the nicest labor and rooms ever. So that, I guess that's a really good advantage. But yeah, I'm going to try to do the best I can without medicine, without, I, I don't plan. I know it will probably get to a point where I want an epidural. But at the same time, I cannot mentally handle getting an epidural. Where even though I'll probably be in a bunch of pain, I cannot do it. I'll make a whole nother video on why I'm choosing not to get an epidural. But, Lord, yes. No. I can't do it. <laughs> but yeah. So this is just... I'm going to wrap this up. I just want to do a quick update. Seeing as how I hadn't done one for my 21 week uh vlog update and i definitely am going to do a video for each week after this because i want to be more consistent with it as it gets closer to his birth date or when he's due um ooh, so i can keep track and all that and yeah i might do a different little vlog to get in depth about some other pregnancy things but this is it for this one i'll see you guys <laughs>